Hello Pisces and welcome to your reading by the Blessings Foundry. Today's reading is an energy check-in to see what's going on in the current situation, the current feelings, what might be hidden. We'll take in a look into love and emotions, career and finances, get a general message and see the overall possibility based on the current energy. Spirit, please connect to the Pisces subscribers of this channel and their guides, guardians, angels, ancestors, and higher selves in high vibrational energy to get the messages and guidance that Pisces needs for their soul's journey at the time they view this video. So let's see what's going on in the current situation, Pisces. Ace of Cups, what beautiful evolution this is. Evolution of self, evolution of beauty, evolution of love. The aces are new beginnings, the potential of something new to grow. Cups are emotions. So you may have a new opportunity before you. We'll get more information on that in a moment. In the current feelings, we have the Queen of Wands. You're feeling yourself, Pisces, hey? Feeling beautiful, energetic, feeling like a super attractor. You may have many people drawn to you at this time, like a like moths to a flame. Um, you are the sun, you are radiant, whether you feel that way or not, this is the energy that's showing. It could also be showing that you're feeling as though you want to be that way. Um, wanting to manifest, wanting to attract, wanting to have beauty in your life. What might be hidden from you at this time? Page of Wands, some type of message. If we look at this image closely, we see really looking at things with a magnifying lens, something you may be overlooking or something you're doing, you may be trying to not be observed, trying to keep it hidden yourself. And in love and emotions, we have the hangman transformation. This is a new chapter, new perspective. This is also about recognizing that you are dearly loved and embraced by spirit. I'm, I'm hearing that something in your love and emotion is also transforming. Then in career and finances, we have the three of swords. So there could have been some type of difficulty, some type of financial loss, some type of pain. We'll take a look at that in a moment in career and finances. The general message we have is the hermit using your wisdom to really guide you to stand above, to allow yourself to see the 10,000 foot view rather than being in the weeds. Then the possibility based on the current energy, we have the king of wands being in your power, being radiant, very determined to go forward. King of wands is also masculine fire energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. We do have the queen of wands and the queen of wands, the queen, king, <laughs> the queen of wands and the king of wands. So we do see a duality within your passion that is expressing itself in this reading. So let's go into this ace of cups and see what's going on in the current situation. Spirit, what do you want Pisces to thank you? Okay, well, coming out of something that has been very difficult, you have a new beginning here. Let's see what this five of pentacles is. Spirit, what do you want Pisces to know about this five of pentacles? Wow, that's quick. You're having the strength to overcome some type of sickness, some type of lack energy. And, and because you're standing tall through the difficult times, you do have a beautiful blessing coming in here. The Ace of Cups can also be a healing. What would it be a healing of? A healing of that Five of Pentacles, that loss, that sadness, that grieving out in the cold as well. Um, I, I'm hearing spiritual blessing. So the Ace of Cups may come by way of a spiritual blessing as well. What is this Queen of Wands for Pisces current healings? We have the High Priestess. Trust where you are being led, Pisces. Intuitively, your feelings, let me say this in a different way. Your intuition is leading you. And intuitively, you have a hunch that your manifestations are coming in. This is in the feelings position. So it's saying your feelings are very important, that you're feeling positive energies, feeling very optimistic, very positive, very bright, as we see in the sunflower feeling as though you are embodying the sun and feeling as though you are on top of the world. This is, it may very, very well be a fake it till you make it feeling scenario where you don't feel like smiling, but you put a smile on your face and then that leads to you actually having a genuine smile. What is this high priestess for Pisces? 
for the high priestess we have you're going forward to have to manifest something new and solid and stable for yourself and this is what you're wanting you're feeling as though you're wanting something to have something to hold on to particularly for those of you have who have endured great loss great sadness great difficulty we see it's the sunshine in your life is due for a blessing upon you for this page of wands it, what is this page of wands for what is hidden and we have the nine of cups so you're really looking for what your wish fulfillment is we see it coming in the page of wands here clarified by the nine of cups what is hidden is you're really looking for what is going to be fulfilling to you what your wish fulfillment is nine of cups also pisces energy what is this nine of cups for what is hidden your inner desires your inner feelings your inner wishes you may not be articulating or showing anybody and keeping it hidden what is this nine of cups please what you truly want what is this nine of cups for pisces for what is hidden we have the hermit coming out for the second time in this reading your experience has really taught you what is best for you and what to leave behind and now you're going forward page of wands on some type of new thing a new desire a new wish fulfillment but you're wiser this time because you have the seasons of experience behind you so you're you're wiser to let people know what really truly is fulfilling to you because in the past when you have let people know about your desires your wishes what you truly want how you truly feel it seems to have spoiled um the thing or the energy coming to an into fruition so we're seeing here that you're not really expressing what it is you truly desire and we're also seeing that you're putting under scrutiny anything that comes towards you or appears as though it could be wish fulfillment because i'm feeling the energy of skepticism what is this hangman for pisces and love and emotions what is this hangman for pisces and love and emotions thank you for the hangman we are getting the two of wands now the hangman is about choosing to go into repose, choosing to go into contemplation, withdrawing yourself. The hermit energy and the hangman speak about energies of isolation, withdrawal, going into um, introspection. So we're having here a decision. Let's see what this two of wands is. A decision about what it is you truly want in love and emotions. What is this two of wands, please? What does Pisces want me to know about this two of wands? It's interesting that I, I, I said, what does Pisces want? Because maybe this is a time for you to figure out what you truly, genuinely, truly, genuinely want in love and emotions, perhaps even across the board in love and emotions, career and finances, and what you want for yourself. How do you want to feel? What do you want to be? What do you want to do? What is this two of wands for Pisces? Thank you. And we have the eight of pentacle so you're going into introspection here or have been in introspection to decide what it is you truly want to focus on now this could be you could fo be focusing on self-love this could be focusing on a commitment a partnership this could be focusing on any number of things but you're truly deciding or have been deciding what it is you want in love and emotional space some of you do want a partner some of you have a partner and you're you know perhaps focusing more on them focusing more on yourself but this is a decision of where your focus energetically emotionally mentally is going to go in the love and emotional space but we do have the hangman as a predominant energy here which is showing that there is some element of introspection but there's something new unfolding and that new thing that is unfolding is some type of decision about where your focus is going to go what is this three of swords for pisces and career and finances okay we have three cards i think here so we have the seven of wands you may have your defenses up to guard against loss in career and finances then we have the temperance sagittarius energy something is coming together in career and finances but it seems as though i i'm hearing a too little too late so we have the three of swords and ten of swords 
which is this is trauma the ten of swords speaks about something that is coming to an end or has already occurred and we're seeing that there is heartache and loss here but in the middle of that we're seeing a healing a balancing a coming together and defensiveness standing your ground being on your defense what is the seven of wands for pisces what is the seven of wands for pisces and we have the nine of swords so you there is some stress and anxiety that's coming up energetically around career and finances what is this temperance please what is this temperance please for pisces thank you and we have the four of swords but I'm, I'm hearing let go and let god um some of you may may be fearing that you'll be let go from a situation what is this ten of swords i'm going to clarify these down one more layer we're getting here a lot of swords energy three of swords nine four and ten of swords so you it appears as though pisces you're very much in your head when it comes to career and finances what is this ten of swords for pisces what does pisces need to know about this ten of swords show us clearly thank you two cards here we have the king of cups be get a get a solid grip on your emotions and your mental processes when it comes to love i stand corrected career and finances there is change that is occurring in your career and finances let's get another deck and clarify this down further why do we have the nine of swords here for pisces and career and finances why do we have this nine of swords here for pisces and career and finances please yeah you're you're fearing that you may have change you may be forced to walk away from a situation your defenses are up you've been through enough there is some type of change the nine of swords and the eight of cups together clarifying the seven of wands showing you're on your defense you're you may even be preparing yourself to walk away from a situation that's stressful or no longer viable what is this four of swords please what is this four of swords for pisces please what is this four of swords thank you for the four of swords we're having the seven of pentacles you've really thought about this for a while i'm i'm hearing you have been biding your time but it's it's no longer a time to be in pause this four of swords and the seven of pentacles both are cards of pause but here we're seeing divine is working while you were in the pause but now you're coming to some type of change that you must take action on and have emotional mastery over to avoid choppy waters what is this king of cups what is this king of cups for pisces please in career and finances and we are having the nine of pentacles so this is what we're saying we just said that there is a change that needs to be made for you to avoid rocky waters and to maintain your financial secu security and dependence and what is this knight of wands please what is this knight of wands please I'm also seeing here, Pisces, you walking away after having thought about it for very long and going towards something much more stable, much more rewarding. Then we have the Seven of Swords with the Knight of Wands and the Seven of Swords. This is you making an exit strategy, a plan to change the situation. And then here we have the King of Pentacles to become more abundant, a, a plan for you to become more abundant in your career and finances. So overall, you know, I, I feel as though many of you have seen the writing on the wall in your current career and financial situation but due to circumstances due to economic conditions due to where you are in your soul's journey it seems as though the wheel hasn't been turning fast enough and that's why we see the nine of swords and the pause energy the stress the anxiety maybe sleepless nights what what am i going to do how is this going to work out but we ultimately see something coming to an end here and you moving on to something much more abundant what is this hermit for the general message for pisces what is this hermit here for pisces for the general message what is this hermit for pisces general message also virgo energy we have the two of cups one more card for this hermit please okay so that i i'm taking that as not another card for pisces we do have the nine of pentacles coming out but it wasn't in a way that i could tap into the energy so here for the hermit we have the two of cups for the general message i'm hearing you have been alone long enough pisces you have been withdrawing you have been hiding you have been going into introspection and maybe do time for you to come into union 
with people to come into communication contact to have somebody there for you let's see what this two of cups is what is this two of cups for pisces thank you we have the queen of cups one more card for this two of cups please it's time to allow yourself to feel again and nine of pentacles coming out possibly in totality for the third time but concretely for the second time you have been single enough during the single alone time you have learned how to be self-sufficient but now you're at a place where you can still or you can you're able to having learned the wisdom of the hermit um you're able to go forward and have unions connections bonds commitments contracts with people and not lose yourself in that connection and union so spirit is advocating here for you to have um interaction or contact or togetherness thank you spirit that's that's the best word that really solves this or explains the the energy that spirit's trying to get through right now is it's it's no longer a season of being alone but it's a time of togetherness and what is this king of wands for pisces in the overall possibility here the overall message the overall outcome what is this king of wands for the overall possibility for pisces thank you so we have the six of pentacles and the ace of wands this is something new coming to you pisces the king of wands could be a person in a position of power that's going to come and be generous to you um and bring in a new beginning let's clarify these two cards what is this six of pentacles for pisces and we have the Ace of Cups. We started off the reading with the Ace of Cups and we are having it here showing that the Ace of Cups is coming to you. And what is this Ace of Wands, please? What is this Ace of Wands for Pisces? Thank you. And for the Ace of Wands, we're having the Eight, eight of Swords. Now the Eight of Swords is a reminder, Pisces, that you have a new beginning coming here, but it's going to be up to you to allow yourself to receive it. And I'm going to go one more layer down on this Ace of Cups and Eight of Swords. Spirit, what is this Ace of Cups for Pisces? It could be love, but you may not be open or receptive to love. It could be a new opportunity. It's something, a blessing is definitely coming in, but you're going to be required to be open to it. Here, yeah, you're going, it's going to be something that enables you, empowers you, allows you, affords you the opportunity of moving forward on your journey. What is this Eight of Swords for Pisces? What is this? I'm hearing you didn't even see it coming. What is this Eight of Swords for Pisces, please? In a positive way. And then we have the Fool. Yeah, you didn't even see this. You were stuck in your head about your situation, not knowing a way. And here comes a new beginning to free you. This energy is actually like this. Um, you were you were not seeing this coming and suddenly a new unexpected beginning is coming for you in this energy for the king of wands which is about determination power moving forward having you know leadership authority we're having something is coming to you a, what is coming to you a new beginning that's going to enable you to go set foot on a new journey a new path um but you didn't even see it coming and it's quite unexpected for you Spirit, one card for the overall energy of this reading for Pisces, please. One card for the overall, thank you. And we have Triumphant Success, which is the Ace of Swords. So here we have the Ace of Cups twice, the Ace of Wands, and the Ace of Swords. I feel, you know, this Ten of Swords is going to be transmuted into this Ace of Swords in career and finances as well. But we do see a overall powerful energy that you are coming out of a difficult time and moving into something that you quite frankly did not expect that's much more beneficial for you spirit one oracle for pisces please one oracle for pisces show them what they need to see please okay we have two coming out then here pisces we are getting success beautiful pisces i know there is no greater goal than to love trust i accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly that's exactly what we were saying about in the feelings listening to your gut listening to your intuition and uh, knowing and trusting that that is following you to success what kind of success triumphant success spirit one oracle for pisces wow that was quick let's get a different one it was patience but i'm gonna since it came out so quickly i'm gonna ask spirit more clearly 
Spirit, please show us what oracle you have for Pisces for this reading. What oracle do you have for Pisces for this reading? Thank you. And here, Pisces, we have daffodil, self-worth. Know that you are worthy. Know that you are worth it. Know that you deserve to have good, beautiful things in your life. Daffodils bloom during the springtime as well. Spirit, one angel answers for Pisces for this reading. One angel answers for Pisces for this reading, please. Remain positive. This is exactly what we're saying in this message, Pisces, is remain positive, focus, keep your eye on the prize, keep your chin up, and let's get one fortune cookie oracle for Pisces. Keep your chin up, Pisces. And we have friendship. A friend needs your help, your kindness and excellent counseling skills will put them back on track. So we see here, Pisces, the energy of you coming into newness, you coming into a blessing, a new emotional beginning, coming out of an energy because you were patient, because you were strong, because you were kind, you were able to continue to move forward despite the obstacles despite the valleys and you're moving forward and moving into having something new to hold on to something some new structure in your life we see that you may not be revealing what your true desires are what you're truly feeling what you truly want but that's okay um Others may also be trying to see what it is you truly want because you may during this time be difficult to read. Pisces in general are pretty difficult to decipher or to read any, anyway and they are quite mysterious to other signs, other people, other non-Pisces. Um, but we're seeing here that during this time you may be a little bit more codic a little bit more difficult to read than what is typical and that's because you're perhaps even purposefully not showing your feelings, not showing your desires, not showing what it is you're tr what's truly going on inside of you. We see in love and emotions, you making a decision to focus on something after a time of introspection and a time of potential withdrawal from love and emotions and career and finances. We do see that there has been um, some difficulty, but you have put your defenses up. Things are alchemizing, coming together. We have an Eight of Cups, which shows you're walking away and moving on from some situation that has caused you stress that you had perhaps even been working on exiting for quite a while. You're going to a place of peace, a place of um, increased value, having emotional stability, emotional overcoming emotional turbulence, making change in your life and making a plan to move on to something much more um, financially stable. In the general message, we have the time of aloneness is through and it's a time of coming together. You have gone through so much and you've gone through so much on your own alone that now it's a time where you have you have learned how to maintain your independence, your security, your stability. It's a time where you are able to now come together and advise to come together in togetherness with other humans. Um, and that you are now strong enough to be your independent self without the pitfalls that you may have used to have had. In the overall possibility, we see new beginnings are coming, forming for you. It may be unexpected when you least expect it here, when you're not even looking for it. We see the fool coming out along with the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands. You're embarking on something new, Pisces, and it looks as though it's going to be very radiant and very beautiful for you and enable you a new type of growth that you have not experienced so far. This is the message I have for you today, Pisces. God bless.